I'm Sheena DiMatteo and the weather is finally gorgeous here in New York City so we just had to come outside to shoot April 28th 2011 Just Dance in beautiful Times Square. So Glee took on a monster of an episode this week. Glee took on Gaga and I just had to find out what some Gleeks around the universe are saying about it. Here's what Wiki D. Cool, aka Davey, had to say about Glee. Hi, I'm Davey Wavy, and I thought last night's episode of Glee was great. I thought Lady Gaga would be proud of the rendition of Born This Way. I thought the vocals were really similar. I listened to the two songs side by side. Um, amazingly similar. But interestingly, this morning I checked iTunes. Number 11 on iTunes is Born This Way by the Glee cast. Number 8 is I Feel Pretty. So though this was touted as the Born This Way episode, it looks like the I Feel Pretty song resonated with viewers even more. Nonetheless, I thought it was on point. I thought they did a great job. Here's the original Tyler to give you his thoughts on Gaga. The episode of Glee, Born This Way, I feel like was one of their better episodes that they've had in a while. I just really liked the overall message of the episode, which is to love yourself no matter who you are or what you are. We all have that insecurity or we all have that flaw you know, that we're struggling with every day. And I just think that it's such a powerful and important message for everybody out there, you know, to know that you are a beautiful person and that it's okay to be who you are. And now over to our super gleek, Mia, who likes to be called Potential Celebrity. Hey guys, it's Mia, aka Potential Celebrity, and I'm guilty of being a gleek. The highlight and best, absolute best part of the show was the end when they did Born This Way. The choreography, it was fantastic. They wore plain white t-shirts and it had their insecurities on it to just show the world that they might be flaws but they love that about themselves and that's what makes them them. Thanks for all your comments guys, keep them coming. You guys aren't going to want to miss the next episode of Glee. Kristen Chenoweth is coming back as April Rose and also taking on the entire album of Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. The first time ever that they've done an entire album centered episode. Kristen Chenoweth, Fleetwood Mac, Kristen Chenoweth, Fleetwood Mac, Kristen Chenoweth, Fleetwood Mac! This week on America's Best Dance Crew, all the crews tackled the Black Eyed Peas. They were also given a choreographic task to perform during their performance, which made it all kind of interesting. My favorite one was definitely Teleporting by 787 Crew. Yeah, you heard me. Teleport. Yeah. I'm like, how are they gonna teleport? That's not even humanly possible. Well, didn't they figure out a clever way to do it? They had one guy flip backwards at the same time as the other guy flipped forward. And it looked amazing. It really looked like it was the same guy being in two places at once. Unfortunately, the footwork kings were sent home, but all the remaining crews will be taking on California girl, Katy Perry. And I actually got to go backstage and chat with all of them. They're so excited. Let's hear what they had to say about it. Uh, we prepared it first, you know, we listened to a song, we analyzed it, then we did a huge brainstorming, you know, get all the ideas in the pot together. And we prepared choreography, then integrated the tricks, you know, practice, practice, practice. Okay, let's talk Hellcats. Last time we were talking about Hellcats, we were talking about cheerleaders taking on zombies. This week, Hellcats is bringing us a giant Fosse number. Let's see if they give them their old razzle dazzle. Next up for Disney is the new movie coming out, Prom, which is already sending me back to images of me awkwardly slow dancing with my date. You have to stand at least this far away from your partner, and then just back and forth, looking over your shoulder, talking to your friends. It's called Prom. If you want to relive your prom dreams or, or the horrible disaster that was your prom, I'm sure you guys all have prom stories. Let us know. Comment below. Okay, Broadway is buzzing with new musicals, and I was just lucky enough to see Jerry Mitchell's Catch Me If You Can. He's got dancing going on all over the place on that stage, from floor to ceiling, wall to wall, girls, showgirls, legs everywhere. It's so entertaining. Check out some of the moves. They all dance.
danced their asses off for me, full out all the way, and I couldn't be prouder of the kids. Check out our web series starring Alex Ellis in her Broadway debut, taking you on a behind the scenes tour into all the happenings and rehearsals for Catch Me If You Can. All right, my time with you guys has come to a close. Thanks so much for hanging out with me again this week on Just Dance. Favorite this video here? Perhaps you want to subscribe to this video. Maybe you want to take this video with you to see Catch Me If You Can. Or request that this video is played on a Jumbotron in Times Square. So I hope I see you again next week. See you later.